football fans in Japan had good reason to cheer with the 2013 J-League season coming to a thrilling end. Sanfrecce Hiroshima stole the thunder from Yokohama F. Marinos and Kashima Antlers to claim the league title on the final day of action. And while Sanfrecce, runners-up F. Marinos and third-placed Frontale secured their berths for this year's AFC Champions League. A fourth spot was reserved for the winner of the Emperor's Cup, Japan's oldest football contest. But the final for the 93rd edition of the tournament was to be contested by the already qualified Sanfrecce and Yokohama's favourite sons, which meant that fourth-placed Cerezo Osaka would automatically qualify for the Continental Contest. So, Pride and another piece of silverware were the incentives for the two Emperor's Cup finalists. The Yokohama Sailors were on the vengeance path, seeking payback for their domestic league title loss to Hajime Moriyasu's wards, while aiming for Emperor's Cup crown number seven. As for the Hiroshima club, a fourth title beckoned. Over to the match now, where 46,599 fans turned up at the Tokyo National Stadium on the first day of 2014 to witness the battle between the giants of Yokohama and Hiroshima. Shazad Huck calls the action. Well, just maybe overplay the ball but the opening goal has been threatened before by Yokohama from the edge of the box they take the lead through Manabu Saito they've looked the slightly more threatening of the two teams and they get their just reward let's see if they can move the ball shift it around faster they've been quite slow with it so far as we said up top now across the goal well first chance for San Francisco. Ishihara decided from a tight angle to go for goal. Oh, that's another chance, and it's 2-0! There we go, Yuji Nakazawa. The bomber strikes. And it is a real uphill task now. They've scored two goals in about five minutes. Well, the keeper did well the first time, but he could do nothing about the follow-up. Everyone just ball watching. And it was point-blank range, really. He was the quickest to the ball, Yuji Nakazawa. They are in serious trouble now, San Frecce. Down the middle. It just requires a third chance. Oh, dear. That really ought to have been 3-0, and I think he knows it. Here's Nakamura. He's got for the near post. Well, that was a half-hearted appeal for a goal there. Well, that almost caught everyone by surprise. Nishikawa reacted well, though. Oh, that's a fine save. It cleared off the line. Well, that could have been the lifeline they were looking for. Safreche Hiroshima. And here we go. They've not managed to beat Yokohama, who have taken the 93rd Emperor's Cup. And they've won it very, very comfortably, it has to be said. They may have been pipped to the title, but they've won the Emperor's Cup. And the final score here then at the National Stadium, it's Yokohama F Marinos 2, Sanfrecce Hiroshima 0. Congratulations then to the sailors of Yokohama on being crowned Emperor's Cup champions. Revenge was truly sweet for Higuchi Yasuhiro's men, who claimed the prestigious crown after a 21-year drought. Here's a look again at the four Japanese clubs that made the cut for this year's edition of the AFC Champions League. San Frenche Hiroshima, Yokohama F. Marinos, Kawasaki Frontale and Cerezo Osaka.